So hi everyone, how's it going? Welcome to with Ray. And today we're going to look at a classic scam that's called the fishing. I figure now's a good time to do the, uh, because there are a lot of scams out there. Some of them are more legitimate looking than others. Um, today we're going to look at a couple of classic ones that are have been popping up pretty recently, and with everything happening with uh, Niji Sanji's talent hacking, account hacks. Uh, a lot of VTubers Discord being taken down because of not happening with one of her mods. I figure now is a good to uh, remind folks security for your for your email and your all of your critical stuff starts with you. Some things just can't be prevented, but these little things like this a long way to preventing some. So let's look at this. Um, as you can see, um, this one is a pretty normal scam attempt. Um, the, the email looks kind of legit at a glance, but it, the name itself is usually a gift. It'll be somewhat kind of legitimate, but not quite right. In this case, Hotmail. Um, not right. Um, Hotmail is a very neat portion of uh, users on Microsoft these days because they retired that domain quite a while ago. Anyone who still has a Hotmail account, like myself, is a legacy holdover. So chances are, a user who's been around. Um, the reply email here will look fairly legitimate, and that does look like kind of something that Microsoft would, in fact, use. But I can guarantee that's not where this is going, uh, because uh, there are other clues in the email, which I'm about to show you, and they're banging on not no account, that give it away. And your standard webmail will not show you a lot of what you're about to see. But there are other ways to look at it, which I will kind of talk about when we. Um, another red flag for me in this particular email. I've redacted my email, so um, if you have any emails that you wish to send me, please do so in my professional email, which is uh, in my profile. And so for this, um, it says your account will be suspended soon. Uh, first red flag for me in this case was. The email account they sent this to obviously is active because one, I use it every day, and two, a little logic will suggest that, oh, this was the email that they're allegedly sending that they just sent it to. For me to see this, obviously this email has to be active. Common sense will go a long way in these cases. So, um, and the rest of this is designed to basically scare you and try to get you into a sense of panic to where you're not quite thinking. It's very nasty. So, what is part of it they don't want you to see that would really, really, really be the case? Take a look. This is what you typically will not see in a webmail. Because a lot of people don't use uh, like Outlook or Thunderbird or any of that today because, well, it's more convenient to check stuff from your phone. And your phone is going to only show you limited stuff in like the Mail app or the native Outlook app for Microsoft or whatever email client you use. A lot of this will be hidden because you don't need to see stuff for the back end. But Outlook is kind of old school, thankfully, so you still get to see and you how you set and let's take a look here. Uh, of course, same or same thing here. There's, but you know that's not legitimate because you can reply to this or send it in the email client on the phone, and it'll probably show you the actual email. But we're not going to cover that. Here. We're going to cover the. And this is a great example here where it says mail to. Oh, uh, this is HTML code. Um, basically, it's telling the computer what to do with what. what when you click this, thing. you can see it says hotmail.department.alert at googlemail.com and it's telling it to carbon copy address and select this subject that says report the user, which is probably the scammer's code for saying, hey, this account's vulnerable and go attack it. That's basically what this is telling. And that's what, if you click the keep it active, it does the same thing, which means the same thing happens. It still sends the alert back to bad actor, who will therefore try to attack the account. Obviously not good. 
And this and this address down here at the bottom, this neversuit.com slash track, it's probably a red herring that's going to take you to a fake website and or from there execute something very similar, but may not to go about it the same way. But it's most likely a fake website that will look arguably legitimate. We're not going to visit those today. But the reason you look for these kinds of red flags, like the subject the, or the from general tone of the email, is oftentimes they are 100% fake. They are designed to be alarmist, designed to make you not think rationally, and generally makes them lose. That's how they get into things like your Discord accounts, those fake phishing emails that say, hey, I can't believe you would do this, like, if you want to go here and dispute it, so so I know who you say you are, or I didn't think you were this way, and, and it shows you, like, a TikTok thing or, or, or an Instagram photo. Those are also phishing attacks. And unless you are expecting one of those from a friend, don't click on it. It will save you trouble. Another example of a scam, a kind of a bonus. Um, let's. So, uh, we're gonna kind of go over this one here. Um, so, um, red flag one. The, the anyone who's dealt with the government. You know that this is not how the government is out or like legitimate issue. They will not send it to a random email. And chances are they will have information that or you will identify as you. Whether it's uh, certain personally identifiable information that the government should have access to and will probably not communicate because it's not here. And they will probably Snail mail, which means the postal service. They will not send it to you via email unless it's a unless it's a prior communication with a or working on some specific issue, and it will reference that. So there's this is obviously not because if you look at it, um, they make it sound legitimate, but it's not. And this is also from my iOS webmail. See, so they hide a bunch of that stuff. Would see. But it gives you a case number. So at first, red flag, your, SS, your SSN will be suspended. First of all, it doesn't work that. Way. Second of all, the case ID, the case ID, literally they're mashing the number, quite literally, and they, and they slapped a link, hoping you'll click it and give up information. So don't do that. Though so contact us immediately is. Actually, sound advice when you get something like this and you think it might be legitimate, don't call the phone numbers that are given in these. Look up the IRS website or the Social Security Administration or your, even your local law enforcement as an example. You can ask them if this stuff is legitimate. Chances are they will tell you no and to file a report. It, it's that simple. Or if you're like me, And as you see, blotted out my email, and or the language here is another dig you. Even if for some reason the first part doesn't uh, give it away. Um. So, uh, due to suspicious and fraudulent activities, um, notice how it doesn't actually what those are. That we regret to inform you that your social security number or, will be terminated within 24 hours. Um, unless you are going to be for a very long time, your your social security number will not, and it will not be terminated because, well, if they terminate your social security number, then well, you keep it for taxes. Let's be honest, the government won't. And to know more about the case like it, please refer to the given attack. So they're trying to get you to click on the on the malicious link which is linked in the case number that they use Numpad to get, so they can deliver their payload, which means that's a vector for them to get into. So don't click links you don't know. Pretty simple. You'd be surprised how many times this happens even in environments where there are secure screening. You have to be present what you are doing, because all it takes is one bad click to get a virus, and your antivirus might not stop it. It's the sad truth. You are your best life. And 
So they will make it seem legitimate, like the email was sent to blah, 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 blah at a specified time. Chances are that was being put in there automatically. Make it look like they sent it recently. It's and the team say, like, is that that? That is not how professionally they would actually have a proper signature. This is not it. And why would they put USA in there? If if you're getting an security administration, you know it's from obviously the USA. If you live in the USA, written in English, and from a US.gov ad. There are plenty of red flags that give this if you pay attention. And five minutes of paying attention will save you hours worth of recovery work later. That I hope you I hope you have found this informative, and I look forward to making some more later making fun of these guys. Later, guys.